Hello everyone, I hope you are doing great. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can uh, export the Google Forms surveys into SPSS and how you can code your questions. So first, you just need to download the Google spreadsheet from this icon from the responses. And then once we have the Google spreadsheet file open, we can just go to file, and then there is an, uh, an option in which we can download the this file. So we can just click uh, this file and it will lead you to download this Microsoft Excel file. So then once we download it, we just go to the, for example, the folder in which it is downloaded. And then we may just change its name and we can even export it to SPSS and then code it. So to do this, there are two ways. Either we open SPSS and look for the file and get it, or we can uh, right click and we go to open with and we go to uh, IBM SPSS statistics. So if it's not displayed here, we can choose another app and look for it uh, from the uh, desktop. So it's here, so I'm just going to click and I will have to wait a little bit for it to, to open. And it will take some, some minutes or seconds, depending on the processor. So I will have a submenu that will uh, show up, this one. So I can just choose what I want from, this is like the worksheet, uh, range, the range, and the read variables from names, etc. So there are a lot of options to be checked. So I can just check the first three options. They will do and click OK, and then wait for the uh, answers to show up. So once I have it, so we'll have the variable view and the data view. So it, if the questions are coded like this, it's OK. So I don't need to give them numbers. So this is a Likert scale from 1 to 5. If not, I need to go back to the variable view and start coding. So I should have a code book that is already there. So to code those Likert scale items, for instance, to start with like this one. So from here, I need to go to value. So I should just go to, so this is the label of the question that will show up in the analysis, and this is the value. So I just need to uh, type one for uh, strongly disagree and just uh, check it like this, strongly disagree and then click add and then two for disagree and then click add and three for neutral for example and then click add uh, so this is like undecided or neutral and then we have four that is uh, agree and then click add and five strongly agree and then or the label like this and then click add click OK so I need just to replicate this to all the other questions so copy and then paste so then copy everything then paste so just you can do this multiple times till I uh, code or label all the Lockhart scale items for instance like this so now they are coded I can just run some analysis like frequencies or descriptives from here go to frequencies and then move the the coded items from this item to the last item for instance and then click OK and it will show up so these are like the frequencies for those who agree and those who so the majority of the respondents as you can see express agreement so this is like how we can uh, export or rather import Excel file from Google Forms, uh, uh, then put them into SPSS, code them, and then run the initial analysis on the like frequencies and percentages. So if you have questions or remarks, do not hesitate to post them below or contact me via one of my social media. Till then, see you in another tutorial. Bye for now.